Hello, friends. I have the legendary Samsung 50 line on my table, and this, the continuation and most relevant now, is the phone from the 50th of 54 line. Here I was 50th original, very first, 51, 52, 53. And so I finally bought myself 54 for how much I bought it. He cost me $350, and about that much now it's worth it. You can find it in various online stores there for about $350. I have an Arabic version, see here with these in Arabic, I have the version for 8, 128 color I chose. Lime was still purple, in my opinion, still black. Well, in short, I like this one green color, it is called OS Online, like very cool. Lime is done in Vietnam, not in China, not in Korea, not in India, namely the Vietnamese assembly. And such a thin box, I still offered to buy a fast charger for this phone because it is not included in the kit offered for $1.15. In my opinion, I... I refuse to charge it from the usual slow charge. The fact that such a box is thin here is bad, because there is nothing inside besides a useful phone. That is, here. Look at the phone. We get it here. Everything is empty, the phone itself. And in this envelope, there is only a cable USB type. C, double-sided, and some documents here, and nothing else, actually no cover. No power supply. No film on the screen. Everything you need to buy yourself, they give you only a cable, that's all. Here is on the flagships, here is on the top ska, but for some reason in the budget segment Bath 4 is so bad there was no complete set there. At least the power supply was on here. Even this is not Samsung Galaxy, a 54 5G Infinity display. This is it means that we have a front camera in the form of a letter O. That is, not in, not in, how type drop A already O is a separate cutout for the front camera, 50 megapixel triple visa camera. This means that we have three rear cameras. The main one is 50 megapixels with optical stabilization and water protection IP67, it appeared. Yet if I'm not mistaken, even 52, that is, this a chip from each generation, well, passes into a new one. That is, it is protected from water, completely from immersion, from complete diving in water. So if you drop it somewhere else, spill something on it somewhere, it won't hurt anything. Look what a cool color it really is. OS Online. Here written by Samsung, designed by, and engineering by Samsung, made in China. Made in China view. I would remove them so that there would just be an inscription. Samsung Samsung still makes its own logo, as it were. Interestingly cool that everyone is trying to make a logo somewhere here. They are right at the very bottom, like, what is their feature? And me really like their font. So cool. Samsung three cameras. This is not a block of cameras. This three separate cameras are so small. By the way, cool. How to find coins as if it were one penny, one penny small coin, one flash completely, flat glass edges, slightly rounded here, here, and themselves here. These here are the ends, they also have a little rounding too flat at the edges all the time. Samsung has a protective film pasted, only they do this for some reason. It would be better if instead of these films, they would stick a film on the screen, because there is no factory film on the screen here. The Chinese do it the other way around. They don't glue around the edges. These films they glue on the screen. It would be better to stick Samsung on the screen sidewall. Here it is made of plastic, not metal, but also painted so nicely in the color of the back cover in general nice phone in terms of ergonomics. It's not so big they didn't chase after a large diagonal and made it real compact enough. Plus they also made a completely, completely flat screen here. That is, there's not even two and a half to the rounding here. It's just a perfectly flat screen, perfectly flat. This means that we are on it easily. We can stick the protective glass without any problems. The phone is also very pleasant tactile. It is compact, lies well in the hand. These buttons are well-located volume control power button at the top of the SIM tray microphone bottom connector for charging speaker microphone and nothing on the left side. As you may have noticed, there is no traditional connector here for MM headphones. That is, wired headphones can only be listened to through the adapter. We open the tray. We look. What can be installed here since I bounced off sharply? We look. We figure out what kind of SIM tray this is too green in the color of the case. See, here it is indicated that's what everything is written here. What to insert where, so you don't get confused. Large font. SIM 1. SIM 1. This is the first SIM card. The main nano SIM card is the smallest at the moment. 71 turnover. And here it is already. You can put your choice of either 72 or micro SD a flash drive. That is, it is such a combined SIM card tray. Choose what is more important for you, a second SIM card or a flash drive, instead of a SIM card that's actually like this. Well, well, at least that they generally left such an opportunity to put a flash drive on many flagship phones already flash drives in general not readable.
Let's say my S23 Ultra Samsung has a flash drive there you just can't insert. There's simply no place for it, but they still left it here, and so, well, meager. Of course, the kit is a little insulting to unpack Samsung after Chinese brands that give both a cover and a powerful charging 60 watts for that kind of money, and the film will still be pasted instead of you on the screen. To already you are ready to use the device, it was convenient and reliable for you at Samsung. Of course, not such an approach, unfortunately. Well, okay, Samsung is Samsung after all. The brand is eminent. Maybe they charge a little extra for the brand and, as it were, for my name, I have it next to me, such a phone. What do you think this model is? And this is last year's Galaxy model of 53, you know. But 54 has become a little bit in shape more comfortable because the corners are more rounded here and it has become a little less. But I will make a separate comparison specifically of these two models and tell you what has changed with 53. What are the advantages of a 54 compared to this phone? What are the disadvantages? I will also do this as a separate video for Dima Viper Life. And so, well, I turn on the phone, listen. Well, really, here I really like it tactilely. It's tactile, it's tactile, it's comfortable in the hand, it's not very heavy. But it doesn't to say that he is very thin. His thickness is quite standard. But he just has a shape. He's really cool, lies in my hand. I don't even want to somehow know how to sort out my hand in order to take it more comfortably. Here it lies like a glove, and very convenient sizes, that is. It is not too spatulate. So friends, look how beautiful my phone started up 2022 on May 2nd. Some twos are shorter, full, complete joke. Let's unlock the phone now and see what frames it has. They are almost all equally symmetrical. And the phone reminds me of some kind of iPhone in general XR or iPhone 11. Just outwardly, he looks like he is not too long. He is so wide and feels very similar to the iPhone XR and iPhone 11. I don't know, for some reason, I remember exactly these phones, beauty. I don't know, I like it, right? Watch this, not the top. But at the same time, look to what they have already brought the framework. What the framework became generally barely noticeable at the bottom. But this is a really small frame for Android. This is considered a direct achievement. If, of course, before the frames were approximately such lower chins. Now look how thin the frame has become, three touch buttons to control the phone in size. I can say that this is generally a top phone, 202 grams. It weighs Gorilla Glass 5 coating front glass and back glass, and also Gorilla Glass 5. That is, the front and back are the same Gorilla Glass 5 generation. Its length is less than 16 centimeters, 15, 8 centimeters, which is very good, 15, 8 centimeters. That is this small height length, and it will fit comfortably in your pants pocket there. Well, you know, yes, that is, this phone is really comfortable to use, and you can almost reach out. That's the curtains. You can comfortably reach the width of 76 centimeters, 76, and the thickness of 82 millimeters in terms of dimensions. It's generally straight, perfectly water protection. IP67 can be immersed per meter. The depth of this phone is up to 30 minutes. It can lie and nothing will be with it. You can imagine it by a meter lower it lies for 30 minutes. You take it out, wipe it, use further to a lower there well a greater depth, a higher depth. Or, how to say it correctly, it is better not to immerse it in a greater depth. Yes, because there the pressure is already there, everything is different. So, well, if you accidentally dropped it, you rubbed nothing will be no terrible thing with him. He is protected from this. 10 plus 1000, no brightness in screen settings. You can put a dark theme light theme, automatic brightness control, or manually adjust everything. So I don't want to turn on adaptive. Why do you need this for me? You write, you can put adaptive frequency control, then it will increase it to 120 or standard always. Then the frequency will be 160 hertz stock, but I advise you exactly. Adaptive. There is a comfort for the eyes mode so that the eyes are not so tired. It removes the blue glow, the screen becomes more yellowish. You can adjust your screen color. If you do not love the eye-catching colors of Molodov, you can put in more natural colors. They become so much more faded, what is more like IPS matrices. But I'll leave the default saturated. On the contrary, I like the size and style of the font. You can change the font size. You can make the font bold so that it is better, as it were, noticeable. But that's also up to you. How you like the screen scaling, you can make it so that you have a larger screen too. Well, it was also easier to see something in the camera cutout. Here you can hide. Make a cutout instead of this hole. Just such a black solid frame. But in my opinion, it does not look very good that let the usual hole be better navigation bar. If you want to use gestures, you can use them. Turn on. Then this panel is hidden and you, like on an iPhone, remain such as it were, completely controlled by gestures. It works more or less normally. But I love, after all, buttons, you know. I love buttons on Android and gesture I prefer on iOS because it works there. 
just flawlessly, very smoothly also. Buttons you can swap if you are used to, if you used to have a phone with a back button on the left side. You can also do this in the settings change. I like this layout when the back button is on the right, you can show the level of charge. So this is what it is. And this is a tax dream display. Everything is clear. Here are these screen settings. Screen, good screen, small, 6.4. It seems to me that this is the most optimal for such a price, small, flat, convenient to glue protection. Good resolution, good refresh rate, and good screen quality, bright, saturated, juicy. In general, a cool super screen is also covered with Gorilla Glass. Glass 5 generation about the shell. The latest software is installed here is One UI 51. An Android 13 Samsung version now takes a long time to update their phones. Buys a phone, you will be sure that you will receive updates. Well, at least a year three, therefore, this is also an important role played by the post support after sales support by the manufacturer of their mobile devices, so that they fix some shoals that will be revealed small, added some new features. New version of One UI was imported. Therefore, here it will all be natural. Now, what have they done for the stuffing? What are they? Change, they put a new processor here, a new processor called Exynos 1380. As you understand, this is Samsung's own proprietary processor. But based on a 78 and a 55, here are four powerful Cortex cores, a 78 at 2,400 megahertz, and four cores energy-efficient Cortex 55, with a frequency of 2 gigahertz. Good layout is considered to be 4 plus 4 is pretty good, because most phones under there are $350, they usually have plus 62 powerful cores, 6 energy efficient. And here there are already 4 powerful ones, plus 4 energy efficient. All this is not bad. What else? Plus is what it is. The processor is made according to the modern 5 nanometer process technology. And here is a good 5 core Mali video accelerator, G68, also from memory. Everything is not bad here. 8128. This is enough, I think. And you can also put a micro SD card, by the way, a completely new processor, which now it began to be sold, began to be produced in general, and is put into the phone in this year. There are NFC modules here for NFC. You can use contactless payment also here. US 2.2 memory, 482 megabytes for reading, 119 for writing a sensor, for 10 touches. 10 touches are supported in Antutu. It scores more than half a million points, 510,000. This is approximately the level of the same Snapdragon, 778. G778. Maybe a little weaker to 34 degrees. The phone warms up and loses three batteries during the throttling test. Throttling is such a picture. First he, for some reason, then it doesn't trot, and then, smoothly, smoothly, like a hill, performance descends. But for about only 5, 10% that is, quite a bit. Performance drops literally, just a little bit. You don't even most likely, that is, according to the characteristics of the hardware. This is a good processor if you still consider something more powerful for $350, you can certainly find options. For example, on the same media library, Demensky 8100 have Chinese phones that will be on Demensky 8100, and they will already dial more than 800,000 in Antutu, here is 500. But there, on the other hand, other characteristics will be worse than that of this phone. That is, this phone has sufficient performance, good half a million points. This will be enough for another four years, I think for sure. Especially if you don't play games, this will be enough for you even more. But for the same money, you need to be honest. You can buy phones that will be even more powerful. As a rule, they will be Chinese on Demensky. 8100 or the same Snapdragon 778G. It is also a little more powerful than any or some other. Well, who else is there can compete? Well, the same Snapdragon 860, but there are few of them now. Or Snapdragon 870, moreover. Also a very good processor. Fast, fast. Let's see how Pug goes. So we have this stereo sound shorter here. A little hair. Look straight jacket, dig in. I play on standard graphic settings. So, so. Quickly collect everything. Collect how much Dofiga is here. Look at this. I successfully ran. So in general, the game processor is... Well, we can say that, in principle, probably more yes than no... Do not say that he competes with the same Snapdragon 8 rulers, but still play it for a year three. I think it will be possible to do everything will come out because there is some reserve potential for the future. There is definitely potential there, therefore, so you can take it starts to feel heating right here, right next to the cameras are very barely. So the processor gradually starts to heat up. So let's see how shooting does not lag. And there is nothing. Everything goes smoothly during shooting. Recharging. 
The sound comes, by the way, from the two speakers here, stereo as before, as and in the past models of the 50th line. Here the stereo sound is also very cool. Great when you work right away, two speakers creating such a pleasant surround sound. So yes, of course, the screen may seem small after screens 6 and 8 you have to get used to where then they shoot, I can't understand, so I outwitted them, they shot each other there in a duel, and I ran them both figured out how they didn't notice me at all, that one that the second, yes, but the screen, yes, not a very large screen, of course, but still play more normal 64 inches. Somehow even a little bit unusual, now there are fewer and fewer of these phones even more affordable, and 34, as it were, a model a little lower in class, it has a diagonal of 6 inches. Ah, uh, here, for some reason, they did 64 very strange logic at Samsung. Why? So I don't know, but 64, I think many will be delighted, because many, on the contrary, are tired of large screens. A6 and 4 is just the very thing that needs to be said. Even if 63 did, maybe even better it would be. By the way, how is it happening here, unlocking screen? The screen has a built-in fingerprint scanner. It is located in the very bottom. That is, we take the phone in hand. Do it like this, and the phone will unlock again. And all either can be unlocked with using face recognition. Press the power button. Look at the phone. He recognizes me and unlocks. All works fast. For some reason, the camera expands. Look again, then narrows back. Why this effect? I don't know why it gets bigger. An interesting topic. Maybe it shows where you need to look at the camera in this way, makes the hole bigger and expands later cleans like this. The scanner works fine, of course, I prefer scanners in power button, but here at least the screen was looking for it works fine, and the power button, I would make it a little longer, it's somehow too small. It seems to me small. Really, if you have a huge finger, then you will be uncomfortable and press it now. Let's talk about camera's main camera here at 50 megapixels with optical stabilization. What do you think? Which Sony Inx 766 me? It seems that now the most popular camera in general in average budget smartphones is placed everywhere without exception, has proven itself to be of good photo quality with a fairly large sensor, which gives good photos even in poor illumination of optical stabilization with a steep color rendition. That is, this is a camera that is now being installed in both Chinese and in Korean phones. Well, in a huge number of phones. I just lost count. How many phones are already on this Sony module IMAX 766? And plus, he got another recently rebranded his Perry called, and still make it under the name Sony MX 890. But in fact, the same 12 megapixel wide angle module, 5 megapixels. There is also a macro lens. Here they are, these three cameras. That is a regular 50 megapixel wide angle, 12 and a 5 megapixel macro lens, which, well, it sounds good. Agree, three cameras, all three workers, no plugs, that is all cameras are needed. And a 32 megapixel front camera is also a Sony module. IMX 616, of course, a little simpler, a little more budget than the Sony rear camera, MX 766. But for front cameras are forgivable and should be a little easier than the rear camera to take a few photos. Let's see the rear camera 50 megapixels from experience with a tab. See the picture is stable, but of course there is no optical zoom here, which is bad in 50 megapixel mode. You can't even use digital zoom. You need to turn on normal mode and only here you can enable zoom 10x. By the way, zoom is a good 10x, though digital, but the quality is quite acceptable. But the 50 megapixel rear camera is also quite good for some. There are no hard problems, and I'm sure Samsung will still finish it with new firmware. They always do the camera this way. They improve over time, so there is 0.5x. And here it's not like the Chinese have a cheap 8 megapixel module, a already 12 megapixel from large with a large viewing angle. So let's see how night mode works. Look, we still have no snow completely melted here. The remains of the snow are very good, very good, but still digital noise is found here, here. If you look very close, you can see the digital noise, but the picture turned out pretty good. Here is another picture, and I like that here. Even wide, you can make a night mode, though the pictures are taken for a long time somewhere, three seconds each are then saved, but the width is still a little darker than the main module. That's what's on the main module here. I see everything that is happening on the ground below. Here the whole earth is already so dark. Yes, only houses are here I see, well, and a little bit of the sky, but still there is a night mode both wide and on a regular camera. So it's not bad. So what if I want to shoot a video in what formats can I shoot it? I can shoot full HD 60 frames. I can shoot 4K 30 frames and all this with additional stabilization. Well, well, not bad.
And by the way, with stabilization, only full HD 30 frames with additional, but there is full HD 60. It's very good. That is for the record, Vito's, I would take it. Really see how fast autofocus it has once or focus, yes, in general, for recording video. It's really top. So what do we have here? Somewhere else must be a macro lens tucked away. Macro, macro, macro. Here it is, macro photography, 5 megapixel macro lens. But look at what photos you can get. For example, here is a small text. Take a picture here. Yes, take it. So here's what you can't do with a regular camera. It will turn out because it will already be in focus time. And here, thanks to the macro lens, you can have some small text details take pictures. In general, the camera is not bad, of course. It cannot compete with full-fledged top flagships. But for such a segment, this is one of the most advanced best cameras. You know that now I will win it in. After all, these three cameras hang a little on your hand. They just protrude so much when you hold it. They are right, like this. Get in the way. You really want to scrape them off with your fingernail so that they don't come out. How I miss the times when they were cameras that went flush with the body, but since cameras are evolving now, there is simply not enough space. Inside out like this and they stick out so much, respectively. When the phone is lying with its back down, then it also does not lie evenly rests on the camera and therefore staggers on the table. Like this stereo sound comes from the lower speaker and from this conversational upper speaker, which is located in the very top frame. Here is a small, thin notch. Healthy from here, the sound also leaks. Look how cool the front camera looks so small, gray rim. So let's listen to the sound on maximum volume. We will evaluate the sound quality and volume, that's what you need. Moderately softly sounds moderately loud. That is, well, in general. Here tuned as if the perfectionist tuned me in general. Right there, no complaints. And moreover, the volume is approximately the same, but still the upper speaker plays a little quieter than the lower one. But right here, exemplary, really exemplary stereo sound right here. I would put a strong, strong to for the sound here. Definitely charging fast, charging everything 25 watts. This, of course, is a complete loss to the Chinese who, as I said, already have 60 watts. Sometimes even 80 watts for this money, and moreover, the power supply is included here. 25 watt power supply is not yet included. It's straight hard a hard fail anyway. Even if you buy it anyway, it will take you a long time to charge because the battery here is at 5,000 milliamps but maybe possible Samsung knows something and specifically makes such weak charges fast so that your battery stays in working condition for as long as possible because fast charging here such maximum power they can... Well, the battery is a little faster, as it were, to choke if they constantly use because they heat the battery more, the charges themselves heat up and burn something. They can either just from overheating, the battery will already begin to dry out and degrade. So maybe in years it's even a plus. It seems that here there are no such reactive nuclear, very powerful Bluetooth charges. Here version 5.3 is also very modern energy efficient. There is Wii Fi 6, support for Wi-Fi 6. It is now only gaining momentum. Basically everyone there has 2.45 gigahertz. But here there is even support for Wi-Fi 6. Also not bad support. 5G, 4G, underscore 3G. That is, all networks. It catches fast. Internet. The fastest internet, everything will work. It will be possible to take it even in the future. When we have 5G at the bus stop, it is also very, very good. It can even last more than two days, especially if you use the energy-saving mode if you use more Wi-Fi. That is, by car, it is very good. It really discharges very slowly, but at the same time, it charges not very fast. So guys, this one is really interesting, very cool. The phone turned out at Samsung as a real good suitable alternative to the same Chinese brands of any Xiaomi Realm Oppo Vivo 1, plus just so worthy worthy competitors worthy. The answer is yes, of course. Samsung also has its drawbacks. This weak equipment is, and weak charging is no accessories included. But at the same time, and there are a lot of pluses. These are long updates that will definitely not be hammered on the phone here. This is a pleasant appearance. One of the most comfortable dimensions ergonomics. One of the top of the latest phones that I tested. It's really real. It's nice to hold in his hand his rounded edges. He himself is some kind of not very big, not long like herring, how some phones now do elongated. 
I don't really like that you can reach half the screen with a finger, that is, this phone is really for the user. As if everything was done for people for convenience, for, well, I don't know how else to say, but I am very pleased with this update here is the 50th line, what had happened with 54. It really gets better and better and better every year. They just headed for a line, and it seems to me that they are now especially 30 and 50, paying a lot of attention to him and trying better every year better. It's better, and people see it and buy here 10 line. There's nothing special. There does not change. But 30, 50 is straight in general. Top is straight, really top. So, guys, here is such a phone turned out. Thank you all for watching. It was a review of the Galaxy 54 phone. Good luck to everyone. See you soon. And by the way, I also wanted to note the color. Yes, the color is also bombed. I like the color tired of all these same type colors that manufacturers make. But here they decided to take, do, take, do something fresh. Something bright, beautiful lime color. In general, like this. Good luck to everyone, bye.